boy, 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 boy. Stuff does not get any easier. That's this. And now the camera. Let's <coughs> see, get that going. That's it. Let's see if that works. That better? Nah, whatever. Uh, hey! <laughs> what's what's cracking, y'all? <laughs> I forgot I hit the button. Um, Welcome to uh, Fishy Biz Aquatics Monday Night Live Stream. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what this. I don't know what to say. I am uh, just doesn't get any easier, you guys. First of all, I want to appreciate appreciate everybody's well wishes, everybody's donations, everybody's love for um, for. Um, For me and my family, um, I put my my daughter in the uh, in the ground on Wednesday, and uh, it was a great service. It was a short service, the way I wanted it to be, um, and uh, it was it was as good as it it could, it could be for 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 her. And uh, and uh, I appreciate you guys. Your donations went straight to. Uh, everything and, and everything got paid for for those who who, who did that for me and and those who um, prayed and those who gave good wishes. Man, it 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 uh it was a big relief, to say the least. It was, you guys are awesome, and I don't know how else to say it. Um, coming into this new year, I would love to say Happy New Year. And for those of you guys, it probably is, started off as a Happy New Year, and hopefully the year goes better. And and for others, you know, maybe it's already starting kind of crappy, man. And uh, I, I I got some news that I didn't want to get January first, twenty twenty two, and. Uh, just shouldn't happen, man. Shouldn't shouldn't happen like that. Um, Myrtle Singh, uh, I I do want to give um, a shout out to you, everybody. And I just found out from Big Tank Hank, he's in the back, that Myrtle Singh um, did put together a uh, a lovely song for uh, Chloe Chloe Chanel, my daughter, for baby Chloe and. Um, I just want to play it in the background and uh, let you guys listen to what he what he came up with. Um, I think is I think is beautiful, and um, I, I really appreciate I really appreciate it. I'm about to go ahead and play it, and hopefully, you know, it's um, could bring. You know, some comfort to to those of you guys who are dealing with, you know, anything, you know, uh, just a beautiful ballad, harmonize, and just conveys a lot of love, conveys a lot of pain, but also kind of conveys um, some uplifting notes and some, it'll, it'll be better. And um, I really appreciate it. So, as that's playing, I want to welcome everybody for coming in, man. Uh, did not want to have such a heavy, heavy hearted live stream. Wanted to come in and be all boisterous and everything. But, like I told you all before, a little piece of me is gone. It's not going to get back anytime soon, but I know that with you guys' love and support, you know, you guys um, help help me uh, shoulder that um, that burden, and it really, really helps you guys. I'm like flying by the seat of my pants here, but um, this was this is beautiful. So thank you, uh, Myrtle. I appreciate that. Um, 
vibes first one in monica has changed her channel name so definitely go seek her out um mystery snail garden thank you discus addiction thank you posiwi thank you danny west she's in the pl in the house bags fish room thank you freaky fish lady thank you john the fisherman is in this thing geek boy my boy is in here uh ben backstrom uh, Fishy Mon 64 is up in here. Glitch Aquatics. Thank you. Lori Monster Fish Girl is in this thing. Michael A is up in here. Uh, Master Aquatics at Wardo for the beautiful words last week on Monday. Appreciate you. Uh, Dennis, My Fish Tank AQ. Myrtle is in here. Lori is in here. Monster Fish Guy, Liquid Zoo. Petty Patty is up in this thing. Aqua Guardian Zen is up in here. And if I missed anybody, Peplin, Metalhead, Melissa in. Thank you all for coming through the Blind Fish Keeper. I've been talking with you. You're freaking awesome, man. Thank you so much. The Blind Fish Keeper, man. That that it, it his channel name is what he is. He's a blind fish keeper, man. And it, I I don't know how he does it, but he's freaking awesome, man. <laughs> uh Merrick. Didi, thank you for coming up in here. Texas Fish Room, thank you as always. Debbie Russell, thank you as always. Uh, Richard Reynolds, thank you. Uh, a new local, Big Mike is up in here. Uh, Vizine is up here and finally got your name right. Um, Levi, Paul McCartney, thank you. PB is up in this thing. I got to talk to you, PB, about Florida. Uh, for the Aquashella, I got to call you after the stream. Um, I'm headed down. I'm headed down. I'm headed down. Lisa, KG Tropicals, thank you for coming through. Uh, Skip, thank you for coming through and your, and your testimony and your words on Monday. I really appreciate you. Skull Aquatics, thank you so much. Uh, Kenny E up in there. Thank you so much. All right, people. I think I'm down here. Rocky and Miles, thank you for coming through. Rocky and Miles. Aquafunk is in the back and Big Tank Hank is in the back. Listen, this is a dedication to Jeffrey Watts. Jeffrey Watts is a mod of mine and Jeffrey Watts has been in probably every single one of your guys' streams at one point or another if you live stream. Um, he does not have his own channel, although we have been trying to get him to have his own channel. And I just brought a couple of guys um, that know Jeffrey Watts personally. He's in Houston, Texas. So, of course, Big Tank Hank, he knows. And uh, coming in later is Steve, Warrior Planet of Tanks. He's coming in. They all have personally know, know him. And I feel like I personally know him as much as I've talked to him. I actually got to meet him in Dallas and um just a real good dude and i just wanted on the strength of the people that really rock with me that have been supporting of me and know my character um i would just hope if you didn't know him that you would take mine and and the words of uh some people that actually know jeffrey that um he is a a um man he has a big heart um he's an a1 cat a1 guy and um he 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 needs some love and support right now man he he needs some love and support right now um lost his father right on january 1st and uh he's not a big guy to put his personal business out i actually asked him i said listen i don't know i don't know what else to tell you but that community helped me help me get through my daughter's passing and i would love to bring the attention to them and um, let them show you some love, even if you're in the stream, if you're not in the stream, whatever the case may be. But uh, I want to bring some people up here that know you and we just want to speak good about you and uh, let these people know that don't know you that you a one man, you a one straight up. So here's Big Tank. Hank, you guys should know him. There you go. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Aqua, you ready? Aqua's still in the back. Hank, Hank, Hank. 
<laughs> How you doing, man? Oh man, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. You know, yeah. hey, best as best as you can you can be doing when you just to let everybody know. Unfortunately, I ran from it, but the the, the dreaded uh, specter that we have hanging out here in our society for the last couple of years has caught up with me. But I'm in good health. Uh, I'm feeling real good. You know, I'm just going to, I'm letting that, that, that quarantine pass by so I can get back out there in the world and move around. But um, other than that, man, I'm doing, I'm doing very good, man. And I, I'm very appreciative to be able to come up here and uh, show some love to, to a really good friend of mine, you know, Jeffrey Watts. That's what's up. Jeffrey Watts. Most definitely, most definitely. Yeah. Let me throw Aqua Funk up here. Hey, how's everybody going? How's everybody doing? Hopefully my internet my internet uh works you out. Echoing. You echoing. You got uh something else up? <laughs> yeah, my daughter. <laughs> I'm gonna stop I, echoing. I thought, yep. I thought you had some Jamaican horns going. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> no, that's that's my daughter. She got she, she blasted a candle. Is it still echoing? Uh, you just like you kind of skipping a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I ain't gonna stay long because I want to mess with the stream. Um, Jeffrey Watts, Jay Watts, um. I always, I always say this, and I know this kind of cringes when I say this, but uh, there's a stereotype um, when it comes to fish keepers and Jeffrey Watts. Unfortunately, he does not fit that stereotype, but I want you to know he's a great representation of minorities in the fish hobby. Uh, I just wish he would do a channel. And let everybody know that you can't judge a book by its cover. He's a great guy, um, real humble and uh, caring and knowledgeable. So whatever you can do, please do so. I'm not going to stay long because, like I said, I don't want to mess up the stream. But um, uh, Jay Watts, you know I'm here for you, brother. Right on, Aqua. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, um, um, and I'm pretty sure he'll pop back in, you know, if he if he gets a chance to. But uh, everything he said, man, like he he hasn't met Jay Watts, but he's talked to him several times. Been on three way a couple of times, but uh, I don't know. Tank, you 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 frequent with him because you're day. You know, Speak <laughs> speak on it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Every every day, every day, Jay. <laughs> every day, Jay Watts. Okay. He's gonna hit me on the line every day. When I say Drew is not uh, exaggerating when he says stand up, a stand up guy, uh, loyal, loyal to the fo to to a fault sometimes. He, you know, you may have heard me, you know, speak earlier in in live streams about like being a uh, bridge builders and mints. I mean, at fence menders, uh, Jay Watts bridges gaps. Jay Watts bridges gaps. Jay Watts has he doesn't have a judgmental bone in his body, and if he does, he's not gonna let you see it. If you if you need something, you need him to do something. You whatever. Jay Watts is always always there for you. He's not gonna let you. He's not gonna let you go missing. Cause sometimes I go missing, y'all. You know I'm <laughs> I'm a I'm I'm socially antisocial. That's a good way to explain it. He <laughs> he's not. He's not gonna let me make it. He's not gonna let me make it. But but it's a, it's a beautiful thing 
It's a beautiful thing. He's gonna always have some positive words. And like Funk said about uh you know stereotyping fish keepers. Yes, if you were to just see Watts, you know, and he's he's playing in the cut, being quiet, you know, just peeping the scene, you know, you'll you'll develop uh you know uh image in your head of what you think he is. So far from it. Super knowledgeable when it comes to fish, uh plants. I mean, he's got a few tanks, a few tanks, and he's always putting his hands in the water daily. <laughs> daily. He's somewhere trying to spend some money at ADG, you know, to, to add to the hobby. You know, we yeah, we're, we're whispering in his ear. We're trying to get him to get a challenge going. He's, I'm pretty sure he's going to get him something going pretty soon. Yeah, we know he's got a got a hiccup right now. Got a snag, got a snag. But this is a it's natural. It's natural. While we are right now, it's natural. New year, new beginnings, and there's things. Unfortunately, we have to move away from. It's the minister talking right now, y'all, because he's always in there. There's there's seasons. You don't have to be religious. You don't have to be religious people, but there are seasons for everything. Some seasons are long. Some seasons are short. But there's something that we take from every season. And this season here, people, This at the end of this, I see something strong. I see a resurgence for all of you who are in ear distance right now. Because we're sitting on the screen talking about things that's going on right now that's you know, that's painful to the heart and to the spirit. But you may be going through something out there yourself right now. Just know that there's always somebody that's pulling for you. Just know that at the end of it, you know, cliches, cliches come from a real place. If you go to sleep tonight, the sun is going to rise in the morning. But best be sure at the end of that day, the sun is going to set again. We have to be able to prepare ourselves to accept both, both ends of that spectrum. Keep your heads up. Keep your heads up. Hold on to somebody because there's somebody, you know who they are. There's somebody that needs you. There's somebody that needs you. And yes, Jeffrey Watts right now is somebody that needs us. He needs us. He's, he's taking it. Him and his dad were real, 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 real close. Real close, real close, y'all. And yeah, he needs he needs some uplifting. He needs some uplifting. For those that pray, pray for him. For those that just you may not even believe in a in a higher power, but you have to believe in the power of words. Speak something over it. You know, sprinkling. Cause yeah, he, he needs it right now. He needs it right now. Drew, that man right there. Continue to sprinkle him. Continue to hold him up. Continue to keep him in your prayers and in your heart. Because right now, right now, people, right now, people, you, you can see him. Speak to him in the chats. Hit him on his phone. Keep him lifted up. Because no, it doesn't get better. We just get used to it. Love you, brother. Love you. Love you. Yeah. Love you too, man. And Jay Wise, love you too, bro. Like, and listen, man. It's 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 just unfortunate, man. The things that you got to deal with, and I know you guys out there are dealing with your own things and stuff like that. It's just it's tough, man. And and I just want to make sure that even though. Um, I've had a sadness and, and it, it's not going to go away soon. Um, I want to give people their flowers while they're still here, man. It's so much stuff that's going on right now. You know, the vid is heightened up. You know, people are losing family members, friends, people that they just used to see daily, man. And it's it's tough, man. It's really tough. And you just need to 
tell tell people that you haven't talked to in a while or had petty differences with or whatever the stupid stuff is, man, that, you know, give them their flowers, man, while they're still here before something stupid happens or something crazy happens or something unexpected happens or whatever the case may be, man. When I used to, uh, Jay Watts called me every day, two, three times a day. You know what I'm saying? I, I would hear him in the morning and, you know, talking to his pops, you know, sitting down or watch TV or whatever the case may be. And, um, you know, for, for, for me to call him and wish him a happy New Year's, the New Year wasn't so happy, man. And, it, you know, it hurt my heart to hear that. So I want I'm, I, I dedicated this stream, man, so that, you know, we could give him his flowers, man. And, uh, and anybody and everybody, man, that you that you messing with, um, it, it, it could be it, it could just be over. You just don't know. You just don't know. Um, I'm looking in the news today, man. One of the church's chickens I frequent, man. Uh, two guys got into an argument. I don't even know what it was over. Maybe a mask and you're not wearing yours or whatever. Shot each other in the church's chicken. 20, 30 shots. Sent both of them to the hospital. It's, it's it's senseless, stupid stuff, man, in the world, man. And it's just... It, it, it don't seem like it gets any easier. It doesn't hurt any less. But you'd be surprised how just... Uh, hey, Jay Watts, we thinking of you. Or, you know, just, just, just want to say that I'm here... You know, when you guys did that for me, it, it 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 was really I felt it. It was really real. Whether I just felt it, you know what I'm saying? And um it's serious, man. It's serious. And 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 people need to realize that um you know I'll see you later might not might not happen. Might not happen. So give those flowers while you while you while you know your people are are and, and check on your people and check on your folks and, and be there, man, and just you know end all the little stupid stuff, the little riffs and the little petty whatever it is, man, because you can't get them back when they're gone, y'all. Can't. So um I'm I'm glad that 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 Hank is up here. I know I know Jay is listening. I know he said he was going to tune in with his with his family, man. His family is there for him and and, and they're together. And uh, I I just really wanted to uh make sure I came up here and and you know, I know we we have fun and stuff on Mondays and we do the hot spots and stuff like that. We still going to get into it, man. We we'll definitely get into it. We got a whole another year, y'all. I'm saying that, you know, I'm saying that, <laughs> um, but uh, claim it, claim it, claim yeah, it. Yeah. You got something I, else for you to do out here. Claim yeah. it. So I just, I just, I, I wanted to take time and give flowers where they do, man. Um, yeah. I talk to, I talk, I talk to Jay all the time, man. And, 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 and I ask him about different, different things and tanks or different issues that need to be solved. And, he got it, man. He got it, and he'll send you a he'll send you an Amazon link quick, quick as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Won't he though? <laughs> like, where'd you get that hang on the back canister filter <laughs> with with the heater that's already in it? Like, what is that? Where you find that? <laughs> Internal hang on the back canister. <laughs> man, I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Yeah, look, before I finish getting it out. He sent the link through. <laughs> While you're talking to him on the phone, man, just straight like that, straight like that. Hey, like that. hey, let me let me hit you on Facetime right quick. I want to show you something. I'm like, go ahead, man. He'll switch over. Who hit you on Facetime? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah, man, he's something else, man. It's, <sighs> it's, uh, it's um, it's it's crazy, man. But uh, like I said, he's he's a good he's a good guy, and uh, I uh, I definitely just just uh, tickered his uh, PayPal on the bottom there. I, I know that you know with the holidays and more holidays coming up and all of this stuff, man, it's tough, man. And I you know I don't wish for anything, but uh, um, you know that you recognize that, that 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 you know people are going through it and uh, and uh, and. Uh, you know, it'll get better or something. You know what I'm saying? So 
we 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 appreciate everything. Definitely appreciate yep. everything, and um, I know he does too. And uh, once once we can finally get him on on the panel, he said the first person he's gonna go to and do his live stream is is Big Tank, and then after that he he's an open book. So we're still waiting on that. Kevin, Kevin, right here, man, is a oh, Kev, um, yep. Kev, send me a text message, man, and I'll, I'll send you the link real quick because he talks to Kevin all the time, man. He loves Kevin, man. He, he talks to Kev. He always tells me how, hey, man, you know, I talked to Kev, and he was asking me about this, and he's just a good good guy, man. I really like Kev, man, and Kev and Jay Watts get to talk back and forth. Then they'll hit me on three-way, and I'll be like, oh, what's going on? And Kev's a good dude too, man. Like it, He just – he 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 a guy that wants you know everybody to be all inclusive. He wants everybody to 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 enjoy, and he is he means what he say. Like he say what he mean, and he means what he say, man. And uh, you can't you can't ask for anybody better than that. Will not let you down. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. And uh, it, it's it's <laughs> it's 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 fun to talk to him, man. It's fun. To it's talk. like it's. It's six of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh man. It 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 is uh I like I wanted to do this stream so we could uplift him, man. Uplift him and um let him know that that we, we pull in for him. I've got 74, 75 people out here right now, and everybody is putting hearts in, they're putting prayer hands in putting flowers in i know i didn't put them all up y'all but i i'm i'm i, I am trying to hold back a lot of and stuff. i can't see them <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to hold back a lot of stuff oh. man because uh it, it's a lot for me <sighs> it's a lot for me i i am yeah. a very uh for those that don't know me i'm a very um uh heart on the sleeves libra i uh I uh I, I think with my heart rather than my head, I'm very imaginative. My my mind just goes. And um, you know, when I say things, I internalize it, but but I can see it in my head. And I can see Jay Watts's face when he told me what he told me, and I can see, you know, the pain and the hurt. And and when I see it in my head, it hurts me. Yeah. It hurts me. Um, I uh, went to my, my daughter's funeral and I did not want to go up and see her laying in her casket because uh, when I closed my eyes, I would see that because it it just burns images in my head. Same reason why I don't watch psychological thrillers and a and, and, hey, life in St. Louis is already hard enough. You get shot at a church's chicken just trying to get your two piece. Yeah, then, then to me to be thinking about a jigsaw coming after me at night or something like that, I, I, it's just too much, y'all. It's too much. Be so, able to enjoy your chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So but I got, um, so I got feeding this feeding this chicken uh, uh hot pepper flakes on a video <laughs> the other day. <laughs> feeding is what? It's chickens, hot pepper flakes. <laughs> so that means. The chicken is already spicy. Already spicy. It's, it's good to go. <laughs> Kevy Kev is in this yeah. thing. Man. What's up, Kev? What up, Biz? How are you? I'm good. What's bro. going on, Kev? You doing all right. Hey, how are you, Big Tank Hank? Oh, man, I'm holding it down. <laughs> Kev, what you got to hold? Kev, you gotta, man, you gotta make your bed up, man, and get your dog out of there, man. If you're gonna be on stream, bro, what you got going on in there? <laughs> Kev said he oh, he used to late night streaming. I don't, I don't generally make well. So the problem is, if I make my bed, the two dogs sit on top of it, and then I don't get it, and then I don't get any sheets. You get the dog out of your Always bed. Always fine. I never get sheets. If those two dogs. I barely get any bed. <laughs> Look at 
I barely get any bed. Oh, there's two bed. of them. Or you was hiding the other one. I barely get any bed. I, I... What's their names? Rufus and Roscoe? Fender and Kelly. Fender? Oh, I was way off. Fender? I like that. Stratocaster? Yep. Yeah, no. Fen, uh, Fender and Kelly take up my whole bed, so I never get the sheets otherwise. If I make it up, I never get sheets. Because usually, cause usually they're on there way before I even get in bed. <laughs> You getting kicked out your bed by look. I'm getting kicked out by kids. You getting kicked out by dogs. It's crazy, man. My mama would never let me have a dog on the on the bed. Are you crazy, man? My mom is country. Them dogs stay outside. You're <laughs> mine's twenty degrees outside. Outside. <laughs> oh my God. I swear though, Jeffrey, I call him all the time, and then I and then it's either. He's talking to one of you two or, well, yeah, he's either talking to one of you two or he, or he's on the phone with uh, like warrior tanks. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then we're just talking for like an hour and a half. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. Where the heck did the time go? Where did the time go? <laughs> yeah, it be, it be's like that sometimes. Yeah, yeah man. Well, you know, warrior can can talk by himself forever, so that's that's not even a <laughs> not even a that that guy goes. But yeah, man, yeah, he, he'll keep it. Going. <laughs> so so Kev, man, so so you can attest to 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 um Jay being a uh, stand up guy. You were able or you were able to meet him in Dallas. We all were able to meet each other in Dallas. So it was awesome. He is just as fun in person as he is when I talk to him on the phone. <laughs> he is just as awesome. It, it is great. Whenever I'm, I'm talking to him, I'm like, wow. It, it's always yeah. so much fun. I, I'll be on the phone and I'll be like, dang, it's already been an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah, man. Good guy. I'll just, I'll just be calling him all the time. He, I swear, that guy is up like all all different times too. Whenever I need to, I always call him, and he's always up. Like he's he's. No, he don't sleep. He he's the one person. He he's the one person I know that if I'm up at like one a.m., he's it's like four there, and he's up already. I'm like, uh, yeah. All right, I need no, somebody to talk to. Let me call Jeff. <laughs> he don't sleep. He don't sleep. And he better not, I better not let him see me in somebody's uh, live stream because I just so happen to be awake and I comment, ha, man, what you doing up, Hank? <laughs> what am I doing up? <laughs> yeah, man. He's a great guy, though. Oh, my God. It was so funny. I, call, I called him up because... I, I found I I didn't know that he uh his his um he that happened and so I call him and I was yelling at him and he's like I I told him I told him that I told him that Kevin was gonna be pissed I didn't tell him I I knew it because I think he called uh you first Biz if I remember correctly and he's like yeah I told I told Biz. The, that the first thing I said to him was, Kevin's going to be pissed. I'm like, yeah, and yet you still didn't call me. That's the first thing he did, too. He, first thing he said was like, hey, look, Kevin's going to be upset. I didn't tell him for it. <laughs> I'm like, and yet you still didn't call me. <laughs> that was the first thing he He's like, yeah, you know, I, I, call, I called Drew earlier, and I was talking to him, and I told him, Somebody was gonna be upset that I didn't tell him. I'm like, well, yeah, and I don't mind that I'm the second one. Just call me and tell me. I don't want to have to hear about it somewhere else. Right. And he's like, well, you never called me. I'm like, yeah, that's because it's that's because it's New Year's. I thought you had better things to do than talk to me. But no, he he's a great guy. He's awesome. 
uh, Boss Aquatics, they're asking for him to be in the hot, hot spot. And he said, tell you to get me on there. You know. Boss you know, Aquatics. I ain't worried about it, boy. Let's get it. Bring that Chicago. Bring that Chicago energy here, son. <laughs> If you good Monday, man, we can get it in, man. I'm, I'm going to take a pause for the cause for that. But, yeah, we can definitely do that. Just let me know, man. You already know. Hit my line. Go ahead, Kevin. You were saying I'm sorry. No. You didn't cut me off. You're good. What are you feeding them, snossages? Eh, just some kibble. <laughs> You're feeding them their actual food? I think <laughs> I give them the food that they usually get. Spoiled. So, uh, do, you, do you do you see where they are? Hello, yes, they're spoiled. Boy, 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 boy. Yes, I'd, they I'd came in there. We are definitely spoiled. I'd have came in there if I was your pop and drop kicked you and, and grabbed them dogs and shoved them outside. Them, them some big animals, man. I I I, I will say. My, I know my dad hates all the freaking fur. He's like, dang, all that fur. I had one, and he he's already he was already complaining uh, about all the fur. I swear, I don't generally wear black. The only reason I wear black is because that's the only way I can get the shirts. But otherwise, I don't generally wear black because otherwise, I look like a fuzzy dog. I look like a furry dog. Come on, boy. <laughs> They're just stems, just stems. No food. Nothing. Yeah, my wife got to okay, see your dogs on the bed. You you got to get them treats, man. The treats the treats have to be different than their food, or they think that when you're feeding them, it's always a treat. That's not how it, it, you got to do better. Than that. <laughs> if every day is a sunny day, then what's a sunny day? <laughs> Means that Kevin, I, Kevin, look at me when I'm talking to you. Are you are you listening, son? I'm listening. Oh, okay. Do you hear what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. I hear, yeah. Get the get them some snossages or some jerky or something. I I would love to. <laughs> I don't only because I'm not really allowed to. Oh, they're not supposed to have treats. I it, it, I give them the food that they get. That's what. <sighs> Cause he's te technically he's not mine. Ah, okay. He's not mine for technically. Well, even then, technically he's not mine for a year. And even when he is mine, he's still not technically mine. Cause I have to wait at least a year before he's kind of mine. It, it's weird. The contract is weird. Oh boy. Gotcha. A as it is, like I feed them about I feed both of them about half a cup of food a day or half a cup each meal. So I give them two meals and I give them about half a cup. And then I have like one cup for the two of them for the whole day. Cause I'm, he's not allowed to go 10 pounds over or under the weight that he is right now. The weight that I got him, he's only, he's not supposed to go 10 pounds over or under that weight because the weight i got him is the weight he should be okay were were you there for you were you were at aquashella but i don't think you heard it a few a few people came up to me a few of our friends came up to me and were like he's skinny he's too skinny he looks really really skinny he looks un he looks underfed and i'm like your dog yeah and that dog was hella big, man. What is it? That's a Labrador, ain't it? Yeah. No, nah, that he, dog. Yeah, no, nah, that he, dog's just right. He's a big dog, but he they they were saying that he was too skin. He's too skinny for the size of dog he is. And I'm like, nope, because that's what I got him at, and I'm not. I, I can't do anything about it because he can't go ten pounds over or under, or he can get taken away. Cause technically, I don't own him. He's guide dog. That's cause we are. That's cause we are abusing. We are abusing all these animals by overfeeding them as it is. That's so the perception is 
if he's not fat, he's not healthy. But that's right. just because we're mistreating him by overfeeding him as it is. Yeah. Yeah, man. Sure. No dog got to be in tip top shape to do what he needs to do. Warrior Planet, Steve, welcome. <laughs> You're on mute, son. What's happening? Yeah, we can't have there no you go. situations. Hey, happy new year. Happy, happy new, new year. year. Yeah. How goes it? It's going, man. Look, bro. Yeah. We None just um, speaking on Jay Watts' good name. Yeah. He just well, it's a lot, you know. It's just kind of becoming repetitive. You know what I'm saying? But, it's um, it, it's not a getting... good thing. Um, first and foremost, I want to extend my condolences. Uh, JW, as I affectionately call him, uh, to his family. Uh, my prayers to go out. Ooh, it's a lot. Uh, speaking on his character, yeah, yeah, could meet a better guy. Uh, it's a lot, you know. And it seems like it's always the good people that stuff continuously happens to. You know? And just speaking of Jeffrey's character. The way he carries himself, you wouldn't know that he had any of the stuff he has going on. Just because of the way he he carries himself, that's indicative of him, who he is. And we got the same energy, you know. Everybody on this panel, I even I think I've spoken with um young man. Kevin. Uh, K9. We spoke the other day. Um, I didn't forget yes. about the book either. But um nonetheless the, the energy it attracts itself you know because it, we could all share something right now and uh it's, hold on i, I think people are trying to trying to um hit up jay watts and uh, let me see if i have everything right on the ticker but go on steve yeah um, i'm seeing paypal go across yeah but okay. I want to. Is it at something? No. Is PayPal it's always the, at something? And it's the it's a lowercase p. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's lowercase. Yeah. Okay. All right. You need the at symbol. Okay. Wait, lowercase with an at symbol? Let me fix it. I'm sorry, y'all. This one is hard, you know? Yeah, it, it really is. And I'm just trying to process it, the whole thing. Like the, uh, the other day, that was difficult when I spoke good thing. You know, it wasn't good things. It was just the truth. And then now here we are with, with Jeff, you know. What what could you possibly want? You're not trying to go to bed, is it? What do you you want? know, it's, it's a lot. We three days into the year, you know? You're supposed to have been got some stuff. <laughs> yep. And they go, little man. You little fella. Say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Yes, Steve is one of those scenarios. Hey, fella. <laughs> they ain't going to make you a great I'm going to give. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm going to give. I'm going to give everybody. I'm going to give everybody a visual. On what Steve was just saying, that? with what what has been going and going on in this new year, I'm gonna show you something. You need to get what where, where do you get where do you get plants that size from? Milk. Who me? But, no, no, just just in general, not you. Oh, I mean, we right know there. we know you are you're on a whole other scenario. I was about to say, have you been eavesdropping <laughs> on me here? Let me show you something, baby. Now you guys hold it down real quick. I gotta go grab Look at milk. this. Look at this beauty. Yeah, no, nah, that's nice. Right there. That's nice right there. Is, what this, is this sick? They're like one of the cartoon plants when you give it oh, a Oh, no, this ain't sick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? This thing is, is completely healthy. 
completely healthy. I, I wish it was that. smaller so it could go in the terrarium. Yeah. Uh, well, you know how to propagate stuff. Yeah. Now, hey, mm-hmm. now the point I was making is that's one of those, uh, what they say, slow, slow slinging, slow singing, flower bringing. That flower came from one of those, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yes, indeed. And that's, I have that's, a lot of that's recent. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's recent, man. I got a house full, and that was just the beginning of December. Yeah. You know what, though? So it's, yeah, it's, it's out here. Something that needs to be learned from all of this, you know? And, 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 and earlier, I don't know if you overheard, but we're talking about the thread, right? That ties all of us together. Because right now we're doing real life. Yeah. But it is the hobby. It really is. We all stuck in the house because of what's going on globally. This this pandemic, if you will. I can't think of a better time to fire up some tanks. I mean, what else can you do? And this is about as social as you know, you can responsibly socialize right now with what's going on. Well, so, it's, also, it's also awesome because we're yeah, all, yeah. I'm so happy we're all inside. And although it's been bad, I will say it's really nice because I know part, part of the reason why we've been able to have Jeffrey so much is because of what's been going on, because he's able to be at home more. Otherwise, he'd be driving. And well, I don't think we'd see him much, but uh, because of everything that's been going on, he's been at home and he's been doing his fish tanks and chatting with us. Right. Otherwise, he'd probably be out dri- driving. Luck- luckily, with ev- luckily and unluckily, with everything going on right now, he decided I want to stay closer to home because I love my fish tanks. And we get to benefit. Well, I'm going to be honest. Um, me and Jeffrey had got pretty close. Uh, y'all know, but I just retired from, from the Navy. So I haven't been employed for the whole year. Hey, what's going on, Monica? I haven't, I, I got out, I got out in January. So I'm, I'm 100% disabled. That's what I do. I'm a full-time student. I go to college. So I got this big transition. I've had a lot of people pass away in my family. Long story short, it's been tumultuous. But Jeffrey, since he met me through Andrew, we just hit it off. Uh, Plants, picking my brain for, hey, man, can I do this with this? he, he, He loves the rules, and I like that. Because it keeps me on my toes because everybody's at different levels in the development of the hobby. But then you get a friend, too. And and it's not just about fish tanks all the time. It's about real-life stuff. You know? I'm, I, I'm the way I am. He's the way he is. But I got these tanks set up extra quick between uh, Preach over here, uh, Big Tank Hank, and uh, Jeffrey, uh, of whom we speak right now uh clippings he's like hey man i trimmed the i trimmed up a bunch of my rotella you want and i was like hell yeah bring me those clippings i'll play with them he's like well i know if i can bring a piece of anything to someone and they grow it it'll be you and i was like yeah i was like well you no pressure right so it's like nah damn i can't kill it i gotta grow it because there's pressure on it but that's just that's just speaking of of his character and and look at that look at that rotella right there y'all like behind me, I really, you know, this tank is, it ain't ready yet, but it's, it's close enough. I'm, excuse the glare. I don't know how to make it not, but there's some fish that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a hot minute in, in this aquarium behind me. And I'm going to try my best to just keep these fish in here. I ain't going to say too much. Y'all wait for the, the video, but those came from Jeff and 
it's cool to be able to track fish all the way down to the source they came from. So these are straight up hobby fish because he know who he got them from and he knows who that person got them from as well. So they can be traced all the way back to the source. And that's the cool thing about it because you, you see them in stores now, but not really a whole lot yet. They haven't got all the way mainstream yet. So that's cool. And it's a that's conflict I- fish. That's another thing I like about Jeff, man. He, he doesn't go for the mainstream regular uh, fish, man. No, he don't. He, he wants to go as rare as possible, and he and he goes dwarf. So he has like, and what about twenty eight, thirty little tanks, man? He got tanks in the. He's got man. tanks all over the room. He's, got- <laughs> He's got tanks all over the house. I I, I I got PTSD, and that's me though. I'm I'm that guy. So it's like, hey man, what you doing? You gonna you gonna put a cap on that, or you gonna leave that stuff just like that? Hey man, what you doing? You gonna you gonna leave that? You gonna you gonna you gonna put some glass on that, or you going top? It's like, what's going on? You gonna you gonna get some glass lily pipes, or you gonna leave it looking like 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 that's trash, bro? What's going? On? That's me. You know what I mean? Huh? No, you know what? I'm gonna leave Wait. it. I'm gonna leave it. But Danny we keep each other like that. His fish house is awesome. He just keeps expanding, and he just it's was true. talking to me about Kenny E and his Turkana jewels. He's he, he loves those Turkana jewels, man. Yeah. And he was gonna grab he's gonna it. grab me some shrimp and some other stuff, man. I I I just have to. Hey, he I got some selfless, too. selfless to a fault, man. <laughs> selfless, yeah. man. Yeah. I mean, I've been trying to. There's only two more of this uh, hemichromis family that I want. Like, really. One of them is a predator, it's a big one. And then one of them is one of the jewels. I got this one. There's one more that I want. And I don't think nobody wants to get shot to go get that fish out of Africa where it's at. So I'm gonna have to wait. They might be some in Europe. I don't know. <laughs> the rock, the rock, and the rock and jungle crews one. might go do it, but in that, yeah, is like I'm not- <laughs> years old. <laughs> I, I would, I would go do it, but I got kids to raise. I would do it. I swear. I think the first time you, I met, I think first the first. Guard, what's up? The f- very first time I talked to Jeffrey, I think. I was annoyed. Wreck. I was upset and I was going through some stuff. And I think Fishy Biz had my contact. And Jeffrey was like, Hey, I know Kevin's going through a hard time. I know I think you told him you had my number. And so you said you you're called screw, me. You're screwing it all up. Look, this is how it went. You was going through some stuff, you dig. Yes. And then you hit me up, and or I hit you up. That's what it was. I hit you up, and yes. I was like, "Yo, listen, forget all that, man. You're better than that." Whoop the whoop the wop. Positive, positive, positive. And then when Jay Watts had heard, he was like, "Hey, yo, patch me in with Kev, man, so I could talk to him and let him know what's good." And I was like, "Yo, I already talked to Kev. He's straight." He was like, "Nah." I want to say something to him. All right. Then we three-wayed you. Boom. I'm in on the phone. You know how it go. And then, uh, pause, Steve. And then, um, (laughs) (laughs) and then, and then it went from there. Then y'all exchanged numbers and then cut me all the way out, which I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset about. That's fine. You guys go. You guys can go at it because <laughs> apparently he's free during the day. You're free during the day. Y'all try to call me. I'm in the middle of class. <laughs> yeah, and that and that's part of it. Y'all want to call me all kinds of times and nights, man. Now look, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, hey, if, I'm, if I I'm called you, if I called you, it would be like 10, 12 o'clock for you. I'm like, that's too late. I'll call Jeffrey. I know Jeffrey will be awake. <laughs> hey. Danny Weshy, look, yeah, I was I was outside in the yard trying to blow the leaves, man. I wasn't trying to do no yard work that day. Hey, man. I was already pissed off, and, and, the, and the wife was like, I know you better get those leaves off the yard. We're the only yard on the block. We just moved over to this nice area. 
I was just going to leave them on there because I'm oh, thinking we're supposed man. to get snow soon. <laughs> I can see. No, I can see you, you Jay Watts and uh, Kevin. You pissed off on the phone with a leaf blower doing the honey do list. Just, just, just bitching and and blowing. <laughs> hey, look, I have my, I have my cancel, my uh, noise cancellation. Oh man, my wife gave me for my birthday, maybe Christmas, man. I don't forgot what that's it was. ridiculous. That, that helps you. That doesn't yeah. help. Out. Hey, look, I ain't know. No, 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 no. <laughs> noise cancellation. That helps you. That don't help us. Hey, I thought it's it noise everything. Like, I'm just here. Like, well, that don't help us. Look, Danny Weshy and, and Jay trying to talk. They can't get a word. And it's like, yo, mute yourself. I'm... I still hear y'all. What's up? <laughs> hey, um... <laughs> Danikin has like, the question. It was like, like, we can't hear anything but the leaf roll. I was like, no, nah, no, you can't. The noise is canceled out. <laughs> like, yeah, for you, not for us. I'm like, oh, y'all got to get y'all some of these. <laughs> That's craziness. Danikin had asked what um what fish I was looking for. It looked like Big Tank dropped out. But um, no, to yeah. answer Danikin's question, if uh. So this is the Hemichromis Exo. I've been wanting those, so I got those. That's cool. I want the other one, the other conflict uh, Hemichromis from Africa, the uh, Hemichromis uh, Sahara. That the uh, so the Sahara, the Sahara jewel. So if anybody wants to go get shot trying to get that fish out of Chad, uh, Lake Chad, I would be glad to have a nice, sizable colony of them. And so and then yeah, they're they're way nicer. They're just as nice as um these exuls. I think they get redder and there's less uh blue dots. I've I've been fascinated with this family of fish for a long time. If y'all watch me, y'all know that. So I drop Easter eggs on there about one of my favorite African stickers. It's not a, a Malawi or a uh Tanganyikan. It's this it's the Hemichromis family. It's a nice family of fish. But see, look though, like Jeffrey said he had it and I was like, What? You admit, I think we was all on the phone together. Because uh, Big Tank had said something about Didn't you say something? Yep, yep. Because I, I, um, I had one. Or I have one. And I got a female from him to go with that male. But I, I got one from him. Mm-hmm. And I had They're nine. Him. Yep. What yeah. is it? It's 22, so they haven't been in the States for... Uh, I don't know, 2015 ish, maybe. In here talking live on smuggling fish into the country, man. What is on? What's up with y'all, man? Hey, man. I mean, <laughs> it's the hobby, man. I mean, hey, what are you I doing? I got an Indonesian plug. I just dropped a video last week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you gotta get. You get this is a hey, bro. You gotta. You gotta get how you live, man. I'd rather it be fished than something else. Like I said, I got kids to raise. <laughs> man. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, man. You know, I'm so glad that we all were able to come together tonight, man, and, and, and speak on it and speak on, on Jay, man. Yeah. And bring some positivity to him and his household right now, man. It, 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 it's, it's, it hurts, man. It hurts. But yeah. To, to think about, you know, you know, looking forward. And I know when he first was talking to me, he was just was like, you know, it was unexpected, unexpected and, it, it, you know, it is what it is. I know that that's, that's just bravado talking because I could hear the voice, you know, cracking and, and I, I could I could visualize him yeah. tearing up, man. And I'm so fortunate to still have both of mine. You know, but when I was telling them, man, we at an age. We're at an age. We're in our forties, man. And my parents are are in mid mid seventies. Oh and wow, yeah. Fortunately, you know that 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 it's gonna come a time, and you just hate to think about it, and you just don't want it to happen. But my mom tells me every day I go over there. She says, "Don't get old. Just don't yep. get old. Whatever you do, don't yeah. get old." I said, "It's inevitable, ma." She's like, I'm my my knees is cracking, my back is aching, and I told her, hey, mine are too. <laughs> She's like, you're too young for it to happen. But, nah. You know, and, and and like on a serious note, 
I think that's what lifestyle is for. Like, that's the lesson that's learned. It's like, how many people do we have to put in the ground, right? Before something clicks, something logically takes place and an actual change takes place and things change, you know? I mean, we, we have the ability to do so. I think at the end of the day, it's just like right now, I think we're breaking the mold because we're live on the internet talking about something extremely sensitive right now. And it's in lieu of somebody that we all mutually care about, you know? And it's kind of alluding to what I said the other night. Look how repetitive, you know? Yeah. There's something to be learned here. Yeah. And and, uh, and I think uh, real quick, is. Steve, Ryko, um, I will I will reach out to Jeffrey and, and see if there's anything that the family needs, man, and, and I will definitely let you know. Thank you for asking about that. And boss lost his pops last year and the reason he started his channel, man. So you have you have losses and, 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 and brought you into this community and you are very well received and, and, and wanted, man. Um, right. Boss Aquatics, man. And for me to get to know him in such a I didn't know anything about him. And then when I when I started watching this stuff, I was like, he's been around, he's been doing his thing. And then I got a chance to meet him in Dallas. The guy that kid was everywhere. <laughs> I was like, man. And so it it <sighs> I don't know, man. Loss can 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 bring bring things together as well yeah. as you know takes pieces away. But you know what I'm saying? We, we we somehow find a way to push on, man. Somehow find a way to push on. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Steve, man. And you no, that was actually that's what I was getting to. Look at that energy right there. That's what I was getting to. Is the the thing that I think that is there for us to learn is what is it that we all have in common? I've said it a million times. I'm, I'm hobbying. I'm, this is my therapy right here, bro. Like straight up loss is what got me into this hobby. It turned me into a nerd, if you will. Like even each, each one of you, I remember the first time I spoke with you, Drew, I remember the first time I spoke with uh, with Garrick, with Big Tank Hank. It was the same thing. And one of them things that we had in common was how in the hell we ended up doing this. And now we talking. And we got a lot in common. Me and Big Tank Hank have a lot in common. We was like that little dude on old yeller who tried to beat up there. He, don't you take my dog, you know, with the lizards in your pocket and, and like, you know, <laughs> Drew, you know what I'm saying? Like we talking about fish, like, I mean, this might be oversharing, but I'm getting ready to go to work. And I'm in the bathroom doing my hygiene <laughs> and my phone ring and it's you, Andrew. Hey man, I don't know what to do. What you doing? I was like, uh, I'm in, I'm in the toilet right now, bro. Like, I got, I got like boots on, no shirt, and some uh, camouflage pants. Getting ready to like get ready to go to work. He's like, bro, I don't think this fish gonna make it. I'm like, damn, my, uh, so like I got water running, toilet flushing in the background. I'm like, okay, um, get some mellow fix. Like, like, like old buddy on half baked the MacGyver dude. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna need a bucket. This is metal fish. These fish tank holes. Um, don't trip, don't trip. Like, you know, but don't freak out and do too much because you're gonna off him. You know what I'm saying? It's a 50 50 chance he's probably gonna die, but let's see what we can do. You know? And like, this is really the Mars and tweezers. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's how, that's how it moves though. You know? And hey, hey, leaving it right there. Speaking of, <laughs> for those of you all who know that the winter break was dang near two weeks off, and I was asking you guys if I should take those fish home and put them in these tanks or try to find a tank to put them in. And I have a 40 gallon full of juveniles, juvenile African cichlids. And I have a 29-gallon full of Rasporas, Harley Quinns, and my two 
Golden Dojo lurches. And a lot of people were like, you know, you should leave them there and, you know, go in and feed them and go into the school. So I said, cool, that's what I'm going to do. The school did not allow anybody in it for the full two weeks. And I was thinking that I could sneak in with the basketball team because I know they're going to practice. So I was going to go through the back gym and then make my way into my room. But there is an alarm that the gym has that is separate from the rest of the school, and I would have ended up triggering it. And I had considered triggering or triggering it. I was like, dude, I got animals, yo. I got a gun in there. <laughs> I I they did not let me know when they were in when they were going. It's like a 30 minute drive from and I'm like, oh my God. So they said, mm-hmm. you, know, you guys can come into the school today and get things ready before the students come tomorrow. So I'm just dreading going in. I'm like, dude, Monday I gotta go in here and see. Oh my God. And let me tell you guys something. They was all right, right? Every you know, last one of them. And they was fine. Right. That's why I'm sitting up here laughing at you. Like, man, they be all right. It's just two weeks. So I ain't never left them for two weeks. <laughs> oh, bro. And I'm sitting here like, oh, my God, no. I know the Sigmas would have ate half of each other. Like, I don't know what's going on. But I tell you what, I think I think I have one RAS board that may not make it. He looking kind of kind of shifty around around the gill plate. But the hey. loaches, they were kind of like swimming a little bit. But I fed them as soon as I got there. I did um, sixty percent water changes on each of them. Um, now here is here's the thing. I did not know I left the lights on for two weeks. So the oh, plants, you got algae, huh? Plants look amazing, but algae <laughs> is all on the glass. I don't know if that saved them or no. Mm. I mean, you good, man. I've done it. I don't advocate it, but I've done it. It's, they'll be fine. Get a I'm magnet. Definitely not advocating. Yeah, get a magnet. But yeah, it had, bro. I mean, it's fish. They live in nature, and nature is brutal. They be all right. They're climate controlled, and they, they just lived in Alaska for two weeks. You know, who cares? That's all. I <laughs> don't go down. Twenty four. <laughs> Danny says life finds a way. That's the yeah. Same. Love, they said on way. Jurassic Park before you. the dinosaurs started eating all the ass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. I mean, it's it's you had some pretty resilient fish anyway. Like I think the last ones to die. This is kind of morbid, but I think the last ones to die, believe it or not, probably would be the dojo. Even though they're golden, they're still tougher than woodpecker lips, man. Yeah, you know, I think they would be the last ones to off. What else did you say you had in there? Tetras and what else? Uh, I had rasboras and uh, and some Harley Quins. Some Harley Quins. Those are all food. perennial fish, man. Mm-hmm. You don't, yeah, they're they're built they're built for that, mm-hmm. right? So they, and let's geek out. Might as well. Okay, so check it out, right? So like tetras. No, right. South America, those mud petals. I think they're called igarapes or something like that. It's a big ass mud petal. So basically, the fish are that are too stupid to swim down river when the dry season happens, they get stuck behind in these pools. And I think that's the word for it is uh, igarape or something like that. But it's a big ass mud puddle essentially, and it's a whole, it's its own ecosystem. So like, I would argue to say like 85% of the fish that you will keep in your lifetime that can go in normal people fish tanks, you know, us normal people that can't afford to kill arowanas and stingrays, you know, us people. Um, those are those fish. They're bred to die. You know what I'm saying? And the cycle of life continues itself. Um, the ones that make it, that don't get picked off by the storks and birds, you know what I'm saying? The scavengers, the rains come, they live. The other so- ones... It's like yeah, like it's, it's like the cycle. fitness, fitness of what I teach in biology on it, where yeah, where some of the crickets are green to blend in with the grass, and some were born to be yellow, so they get picked off quickly by the uh, by the birds. Ish, that's more kind of like you know, that's Natural like selection, the evolution. Yeah, yeah, fitness, yeah. Fitness. This one is just like the environment. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Kind of like um, 
You said they're bred to die. That just sounds. Yeah, that's like ever like nature built them that way. Like they're perennial fish, bro. Like they they know it. This is this is how they they roll. Like why do you think the hobby? This is how the hobby works. There were some really smart people a long time ago that figured out that these damn things die anyway. They look good in tanks, and you can raise them in mass in Florida. <laughs> so like, this is why I haven't been to an aqua shell yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure something else out. Like, it's perennial. Like, this is money. You understand what I'm saying? And y'all know me. Like, I love you guys. I love the hobby. But <sighs> you don't do nothing for free. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this is how it works. And then, like, do you realize, like, the fish stay? And I was explaining. Who was I explaining that to? Like, was it us? We were having this talk. We were talking about, like, palm forest and ecology and sustainability and all that nonsense like how it works you know like they just found like 30 some odd new uh high brycon tetras or something like they're always finding species of fish and it's all about accessibility i mean most people ain't like us like i'll go in the jungle i can't wait i cannot wait for them to figure out how many more strains of COVID they want to invent so I can get me back on, you know, an airplane and go play in some mud. You know, you remember that day, uh, Andrew, and I was like, I catch malaria for the hobby. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not, I'm like, hey, I'm not into it. Too. I'm too, too. <laughs> 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 like, I'm out there. I'm out there. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, that's how it works, man. Those fish, they're, they're bred for it, basically. Like nature molded and shaped them essentially to do that like and so yeah he ain't he ain't hurt no they'll probably breed now actually with that big old water change you just did and then you start dumping food on them like that yeah yeah that's that's how you do it you gotta neglect them is that how it go <laughs> that's how it go <laughs> um, unfortunately i mean you don't call it neglect but Hey, uh, where's the hottest place you've been? For real. All of y'all, where's like the hottest place? For real. Texas. Arizona. <laughs> Arizona hot. It's hot in Texas. On my way to Vegas when I landed in Arizona. Yeah, what about you, Kev? What's the hottest place you've been? Uh, Well, I think the hottest I've been is in China when we freaking went to eat hot pot and like, 90 100 degree weather no ac and we're eating yeah. freaking hot pot for yeah that, that would have to suck <laughs> we're yeah. like dripping we're like soggy as heck that's that's not like it's so imagine that and imagine a, a mud puddle like i don't know a good size one like the size of like a gas station parking lot if you will right it's a basically a mirror getting baked by the sun 24 7 in south america below the equator like yeah that's hot and and slowly and then like the water's receding all right so then you got all the ammonia the nitrates nitrites through the roof so all these fish have adapted to that millions of years and any fish tank that you have, unless you just a terrible human being, you know, like any poor bleach in it or something, any fish tank is like the Waldorf Astoria compared to one of them big ass mud puddles in the Amazon. Like, I'm just saying. It's, it's the difference between living in a tin roof shack in a third world country versus living in a regular apartment here with air conditioner and hot water and light that don't go off because of rolling blackouts you know what i'm saying it's a night and day difference and so they like the fish are yeah you you got to really neglect them to neglect them and most of it's operator error you know what i'm saying trying to go against nature and make the fish do what they're not designed to do so yeah you didn't do nothing wrong hopefully that clears your conscience and educates the people a little bit too that's what we're here for. When I walked in there and saw him, <laughs> like, right. I was worried like a big dog. I'm sitting there like, what's going on? 
And 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 let me just say this real quick before people start. Uh, thank you, everybody who is um, figuring out uh, PayPal, whatever the case may be. I just asked if, you know, whoever was able to send something through. It, it, does, let, it does work. It works. Let everybody know. So it thank works. you all so much. And um, I have sent something earlier. I'm going to send something else again later on tonight for Jeffrey Watts. Thank you all um, for, for sending that. And um, I will be putting it in the community tab and also a little bit later on tonight or tomorrow. Um, and then one more other thing that is very important. Triple J also had a question. I still have everybody's gift cards that they won, man. I, uh, I I still have not sent those out. So if you've been looking for it, it's still here in my basement. I, I am going to get those out. I am going to put them in my pocket tonight and slip them into my coat pocket for tomorrow. And that way I can send it out with the school mail. And that way I know it's gone. <laughs> so I didn't mean to keep you all waiting for so long. I, I, I still been trying to get things together. So I appreciate you guys for your patience. <clears throat> now, what you say, Kevin? <clears throat> Excuse it, me. Do, it, it does work. And um, Triple J had a, que a question uh, 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 for you, I believe. Oh, get a recap for those of us that made it in late. Okay, so. Jay I don't Watts, exactly know how you want to answer that. But. Well, Jay Watts, um, <clears throat> I'm doing a dedication. This is a dedication stream to uh, Jeffrey Watts. He's a mod of mine. Yeah. And for most of these people in here who stream, he has been in there. You'll see him in the stream. Um, Aquatic Morning Show in the morning. So he'll be in um, Kenny E's stream. He's been in Kevin's stream. He's been in Big Tank Hank's stream. He's been, he's, like I said, he's, he's been all over. Everybody's, everybody's. And just an A1 guy and, and, mm -hmm. and everybody on the panel that has come up has been speaking on his character. He just lost his father January 1st, 2022. And it's a horrible thing to have to go into the new year um, with such a tragedy and such a pain on you. And um, I just want to let him know because I know that he's watching. I just want to let him know that uh, we care about him. We love him. And there's a, a host of people in the chat that know know of him. And we actually have all met him. Um, Big Tank Hank is in Texas, along with Warrior Planet Tanks. Steve is in Texas. They go mm -hmm. to his house. They've exchanged plants and fish with them. And I just had him come up here to speak on his character, Triple J. So I just wanted to make sure that... Um, that we give him his flowers, man, and we give everybody their flowers while we still can, man. Um, right. That's what this stream is for, Big J. Triple, Triple J. Tri Triple J, there is a, um, I believe somebody else put it in. That is his. Oh, PayPal. go help out. Um, so I have I have um, his PayPal right here. Um, ticker I'm trying right to find now. a way to get a link, but I don't know. One J E B W A. One J E B W A. Apparently, it's all lowercase. You need a um, a different link or something. Well, a, a, a lot. Uh, Kevin said it went through. It went through for me. Um, Danny West, you said it went through for him. I'm not sure who all has done that, but. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> bunny. Hey, Bunny, I didn't even I, I went and got a quick trip card thinking that everybody has a quick trip in their city. So honestly, Bunny, if if you won the QT, <laughs> you can send me your cash app and I'll just send you the 20 and I'll use it <laughs> straight up. <laughs> Somebody was like, hey, man, quick trips ain't everywhere. I was like, for real? It's like, hey. you know, I'm everywhere I look and say, <laughs> When I announced, I announced the, the win on the stream, and I was like, what is a quick trip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's wow. crazy. So, yeah. so yeah. I've, seen, I've seen some phenomenal gas stations other than here. Like, when you go down south, like, there's, there's Huck's, there's Casey's. They got, like, beef jerky that they make from scratch in there. They've got, like, a whole southern kitchen. Where you can mm. get food out of there and gas, and then the regular gas items. 
the Quick Trip is not that. They are trying. There we go. Pizza and pizza pockets. You can definitely get those. And they got some A1 yeah. donuts in the morning, but that's about it. <laughs> hey, Biz. Hey, Biz. Yo. I'm not a mod. Do you mind dropping that in um, chat and pinning it? Drop what? I, I just put it in private chat. I'm not a mod, so I can't do it. Uh-huh. I just posted the link for his. Oh, wow. All right. Right on. Um, yeah. What's your name, boy? Kev. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what up <laughs> no you you missed it i just said what's your name all right here we go yeah there there we Boy go young. wow there it is yeah, yeah. yeah there it is. Off. thank you I, I just can't do it from my end so dude i can't pin it are you on stream you're in youtube right i'm on stream yard g oh <laughs> <laughs> Can I mark it as a favorite? What is this? What's this do? Hey, what you getting attacked by over there, Hank? <laughs> hey, when when you get when you get terrariums, you get fungus, fungus net. Fungus net. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, that fungus. <laughs> you gotta get rid of that dirt. <laughs> Might have to go for <gasps> Oh, I right got on, some Kev. stuff. I'll talk sh- later. I, got I hope that's stuff. coming up as a link, you guys. I hope that the nursery. The it, it's day. coming. Oh. It's coming up as a link. Gotcha. I don't know okay. if you pinned it, but it's definitely coming up as a link. Uh, Streamyard has no, a it's star. Up. I put a star. I, I highlighted the star. I don't know if that link, if that pins it or not. I don't think that. Uh... Hey, if you were born in the '80s and you liked hip hop, see if you remember this real quick. Aisha, I can't hear it. <laughs> Gonna party for Jay Watts one time. Look, Big Tank Hank already got it. Look, <laughs> all the girl that I never had, and I want to get to know you better. <laughs> the playground. Thank, oh, wow. thank, thank you for trying, Lori. Yeah, I don't know why it was weird. I was trying, I was trying to figure out how to find his link, and then I'm like, let me try, let me just try and put in PayPal.me and see if that worked. Aisha, you were the girl I never had, <laughs> but I want to get to know you better. Look how young these guys oh, yeah. were, man. They was talking about girls. Look at them. Yeah. Wow. Hey, Garcia Aquatics. I hadn't been ignoring you. I can't see no chat unless I hit this little chat button. Yeah, button he said down you here. look like Aqua Funk doing that dance she was doing. <laughs> look at Steven. He spelled Aisha wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It's Aisha. <laughs> yeah, I think it's got an I and a Y and an E and a sh in there, don't it? Somewhere. And a sh. <laughs> and a sh. <laughs> there it is, there an it I, is. I and an E and a sh. What'd I say? Oh, no, they don't have a Y, though. <laughs> oh, my God. What, what was that, the 80s or the 90s? The late 80s, right? This was late 80s, yeah. What was we on, bro? Man, it was on all the best stuff, man. Did you have a slope haircut or a Gumby? You know I had a Don't Gumby. Don't lie. Yeah. I had both <laughs> had of them. A Gumby in third grade. My hair used to go this way. I used to put a oh uh, car on it and it'd be standing up there like this. You remember that, like, that, that multi-level oh, no, joint that Bobby about. Brown had? Like, it was, like, what? two levels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, That was the uh, the play. Kid and play. Oh, Kid had the, had the high top, and then play had the, Yeah. I tried it all before I lost my uh, hair. All the style. <laughs> you remember the chili bowl? Yes, yeah, I know. Yeah, chili bowl. <laughs> That's <No>. awful. <laughs> the worst. The I'd worst. Have to, I'd have to. I'd have to get the chili bowl. Using that chili bowl is something you had to have. You had that, to that, that, that'll give you PTSD. That, that, that <laughs> I had. I right. had. I had a ducktail. <laughs> I braided it. It came right to the center of my. Yep. Do you I had to the, pull it and let it bounce back. I had the kid, but the the my kid didn't my my hair didn't go all the way up there. It came to like by like right there, 
And then like sophomore year in high school, I cut it off and got like, a, and my waves was busting back then. I was like, hey, I'm waves. Thing. When did waves come back in style? Like 97, eight? Well, see, I, I work in corrections. So as long as there was Dax wave grease, waves never went out of style. Man, <laughs> when you used to brush your waves every day, man, like, 80 times a day, you just be yeah. Running. Oh my, you Murray's your hair out the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's what's the blue one called? Uh, it's one of the it new ones. It's 360. Oh. oh, you talking about Royal Palm? Royal yeah. Palm, Royal Murray's, Palm. Dax. Yeah, <laughs> pink, pink moisturizer uh, when you had your Jerry. <laughs> Stephen B said he had the bowl cut. Look, <laughs> you used to watch Mr. B. Y'all ever watch Mr. B with Rowan, uh, what's his name, Rowan Atkins, I think? Yeah. Um, <sighs> the, the episode where he walked into the barber shop and he was pretending he was a barber. And a uh, little homie was in the barber's chair and he gave little homie the chili bowl. And that wasn't bad enough. He had to turn the bowl over in the front and cut the little triangle part out. In front that man, Eddie. <laughs> this was called the Eddie, like from yeah. Eddie Munster. Eddie Munster had it, so everybody who had one was yeah, like, oh, you got an Eddie. <laughs> oh my god, Widow <laughs> Peak. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. B, you gotta pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lightheaded. Oh my god, I never had an Eddie, man. Oh, my my hair never seen ever since I was born, man. My stuff was back, back all the way when I was little. <laughs> Yeah, I had, a, I had a I had a natural widow's peak back in the ready oh, for the man. world Jerry curl day. I got man. one. I hate it. And and it's either rock the widow's peak and have this little thing or have my, yeah. my line go all the way back to Alabama and I ain't trying to do that. No, down no south, younger. Down south, my mama used to call them cowlicks. You got them cowlicks. Cow yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro. But where you understand what I'm saying? Because there's there's truth in everything. All these little stupid sayings and stuff. Who in the hell got licked by a cow? Or does that go to show like back in the day when life was life sucked and people had to milk cows and maybe they went to go milk the cow and the cow licked them in the face? Could you imagine that? Like where does this where does this word come from? Cow lick. Hey, you know? got lit, man, when you used to milk the cow, the cow licked a- in the head. Your That's hair a rough tongue. Over. That's a rough tongue. I used to ride I mean, bulls, though. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine how many people slap the shit out of a cow in the face with a bucket for getting licked? <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Kevin, you remember the Gumby, man? I don't think you've been in the game long enough. <laughs> You guys are showing your age. I have no clue what you guys man. are talking about. Do you, even, do you even remember Gumby the cartoon? No. Oh, wow. They had Gumby. This was when Stop Photography so, Claymation. So this is Gumby. Yeah, Gumby. Gumby was basically a, a, a strip of chewing gum. <laughs> yeah. He was a green. I got my green screen thing. Yeah, Gumby but. showed up like a fish tank. That was dope. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get no copyrights for that. Kelly Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gumby. All right, so Gumby. See how his head is? So people used to get that haircut. I had that haircut in um in uh, third grade. I never forget. My mom was like, "Why would you want to do that to your head?" Oh, come on, Ma, I gotta get it. I just gotta. <laughs> I just gotta get it. Oh my god! What else? What else? All them styles back then. Ooh. Remember the uh, no, like this is how mine look right here. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be back it'll be back in a, in a couple months you know Watch. it and then it'll Steve you had you had the one with the step on it right Let's see oh one level God. two levels I gotta see if I can find a picture of me I had a plain one too <laughs> we don't I had a plain see a one. picture of you but we did call it the Bobby Brown oh Ke- my Ke- God, <laughs> <Bobby> Brown. <laughs> Kelly Kelly I'm my sorry. prerogative 
<laughs> Kelly, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you can type, Kelly. I thought I'm surprised your hands aren't glued together already. She said she just spent two hours gluing boost and a new my fingers feel gross. My my the hands worst. probably already be glued together. I don't think I can type. <laughs> That's the worst. The worst. And then I put put on gloves, but then the gloves just get glued to whatever I'm doing, so that doesn't help. Four steps. I use pin set. Oh man. Um, yeah, man. I'm glad so we were able to get get a, get a couple of laughs in through this, man. <clears throat> oh man, let me show you guys something, man. I went and went and got my wife some uh some 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 wine and this is what I stumbled on. Oh wow. I've never seen this before as many times as I've been in total wine. It's a prosecco. What's the and it got my baby's name on it, y'all. Yeah. Little ribbon and everything, man. Yep. I had to buy, I went and bought wow. two bottles, man. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Shelf. Just gonna put it on the shelf, man, and just hold on to it, man. Yeah. Can y'all believe that? That's crazy. You got. You check the year on it. It's my baby. Oh man, wouldn't it be crazy if the year on it was? Look at this. Italy's. Finest prize vineyard produce grapes that create fine bubbles and notes of peaches, apples, and flowers. Oh, huh. <laughs> that's my baby, y'all. Dang. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Man, that's something else, y'all. I, I can't even find no year on it, man. I'm, I'm um. But I'm, I bought two bottles, man, and I showed the wife, and she just looked at it, and I was like, I'm just going to hold these and put them up. I'm just going to put them up. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Buy some more and toast her new next year. Toast her on her birthday. That's, that's super cool, man. Yeah. I felt a little something, man. I, looked, I, I was just like looking and looking, and all of a sudden, I just looked up, and I said, Chloe? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm thinking of I'm thinking of getting my first tattoo. Your first one? First one. Very first. Um, I'm at like 16. <laughs> are you really? Oh wow! Really? I never thought yeah. of inking. I never thought of inking my body up, man. When when everybody. Me neither. Was when everybody was doing it, they was just doing it and getting the same thing in college. I'm sitting there like, so when you guys are old and crusty, that panther is just going to be hanging from your shoulder, everybody? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, can, I can honestly say all 16 of mine will still mean something when I get old. That's what's up. I never, I never, and I, I'm a sailor, and everybody, we would pull into some country and everybody had to haul ass to the tattoo shop. And I just never, I'm a committer folk, you know? I just, what if I don't like it tomorrow? It's too permanent. But hey, if you got something, I think they're, I think they're dope. I always wanted one. I just can't find nothing I love enough to draw on me forever. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I was at, but now I do. So. Yeah, so you see, you got something, yep. you know? Yeah. Um, ABC Aquatics said, what's up? Uh, let me look at what's going on in the comments, man. Man, 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 man. Danny, where she said, uh, he got you, uh, hooked up on a tattoo artist. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I, I had, I had never gotten them, um, just because I just didn't know, never know what to get. <clears throat> and it, right? it took me to the tender age of 41. To have a loss to where I feel like I want to immortalize it, man. Yeah. See, 41, so what? Then you reinvent yourself. You already know what I told you if I have my midlife, if my crisis hit. Yeah. 
What is that going to be? Charlie Sheen, baby, all the way. I'm going full tilt. <laughs> hey, you want to get a tattoo of Charlie Sheen? You got tiger know, blood? Bro. Tiger blood. See, he already knows. Straight to God's blood. Don't even care. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to get a tattoo is what I'm saying. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go hardcore. Yep. I'm almost there. <laughs> Come knocking at the oh, door. Oh. Yeah, look at looking through the hole. Who is that? <laughs> it's me. It's me, big bro. I don't know. I don't want to open the door. I don't know you. Hey, it is. What it is. <laughs> hey, it's funny because it's true. <sighs> you know, you got to do what you got to do, man. Yep, the good old tiger blood. You know. I am starting to believe that we are built for this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. I tell you, you know? guys what, man. Um, I think I think it was a great. I think it's been great, man. I think we 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 uh, let 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 um let Jeffrey know how we felt, man. I I, I think everybody mm-hmm. has done really well in um the chat and and, and expressing, man. Um, we had a couple of, you know, we, we were able to, I just kind of really want to play this song is what I'm trying to get up to real quick, man. Everybody should know it, but. Outstanding. Yeah, man. Just play a little, some man to kind of break. Yeah. Man. And, and kind of just give them that push to go on to the next day and go on to the next week, man. And, and, and we can move on, man. And know that, shoot, your dad is with my daughter looking down on us, man, and hoping that we, you know, make the right decisions and and keep it pushing, man, as far as we can go until we see them again, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Going to the list. Yeah, man. Right on, Kevin. Thank you for coming up and staying with us, man. I know we didn't yeah. went old guy on you. Yeah, we ah, did. We, we, yeah, we, old old guy we, we didn't got the youngster out of there. <laughs> yeah. But no, man. I know. I know Jeffrey likes to learn about geeking out. That's why. I, that's why I did it. So, so JW, I hope. I hope that you got your head somewhere different, and you know, you was in the jungle, wallering around in the mud for a little while. <laughs> Get I think he go with you. Right? We finna go. go. Yeah, we finna go. Already. You already go know. with you. Yeah. Get I know. Passport. I know. Jay, no, I'm playing outstanding because his favorite podcast. Every time they start talking about something sad, man, they got to play outstanding afterwards, man. They kind of yeah. pull it back together. Monster Fish Gal Lori, thank you so much. Mod, Mod Supreme, and Monica Lynn, Mod Extraordinaire. I got yeah. both the best mods rocking. <laughs> <laughs> Majestic, thank you for coming in. Appreciate you. Hey, I used to tear the club up, y'all. <laughs> hey. Oh man. Yeah. All right. I ain't gonna lie. This one of them, this one of them get your uncle phone. He's right there. Uh, get your uncle, boy. <laughs> Go get him. <laughs> I go lie. New Year's brought the old school out of me. <laughs> it did. That's all I did on New Year's was cook and jam old school. Oh, I see you, Bunny. Alan Parsons Project. Bro, I ain't listened to the Alan Parsons Project since college, bro. <laughs> this it's out there. It's over there in the Pink Floyd neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. How about that roller skating ring? Oh man. I used to get down on roller skates. I never skated. Me neither. Thank you for rescuing me, bro. Hard. 
You oh, never roller skated? No, I'm just you don't roll bulls and right. never roller skated. Yeah. Right. Right. Hey, yeah, nah. hey, and the thing about it was there was a skating rink here in uh in the area in a little town called Brenham. And oh wow! Saturday nights, Saturday nights you had urban night. There's a lot of skating going on. Urban now, night. Now, <laughs> because I you said I rode bulls, Sunday night was boot scoot boogie night. <laughs> not not one skate in the house. <laughs> and I was there on Sunday night. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> With the big hat. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm cowboy. <laughs> on roller skate. <laughs> oh man. No man. Oh man. Now the cow the cowboys weren't doing no skating. Wait a minute. <laughs> you weren't out there roller skating. You was out there uh, uh Sawdust on the floor. Yeah, yeah, neon moon. Sawdust on the floor sliding you. through, yeah. You wasn't skating. Man. <laughs> yeah, this basement yeah, is not big enough. Central station type of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what. I wow. uh, I used to bring my skates uh, at the at my old high school that I was in, and um, and uh, when I did anime club, I also did uh, a roller skating club when I was at my old school for kids that wanted to learn. And you know, with no teachers there and all the rooms free, I would push all the tables back. I throw on, man, I get to going down the hallway, like telling them to catch up. They have to bring their skates, boy. I was in that grooving, boy. <laughs> Hey, I actually, I have a guilty pleasure though. There's a few, a few pages on Instagram where you got these these clubs, and they'll all be at the skating rink, certain skating rinks, you know, on certain nights, and they, yeah, you see all the clubs doing their synchronized skating. Yeah. Oh, I watch them. I watch them, but I ain't interested to get up there breaking the wheel. Man. No, yeah, no. I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> Let me tell you something. I you was in your lane. I was. I was. I was skinny, skinny. Um, I was in like the best shape of my life when I played college basketball. But back in high school, oh my god, let me see if I can find a picture. Back in high oh, school, no. I was super <laughs> skinny, like unbelievably skinny. But I would groove on the skating rink. I'm talking about when little kids was there, I would jump over them, land on the skates, go backwards, and be like, "Oh!" Or I pick them up. I went out to the skating <laughs> rink at the size I am now. And I can still skate, but I can't jump over no kids no more. Nah, <laughs> you don't yeah, you don't jump it. Yeah, you don't And them little fingers get rolled over now. Click, click. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, little you fella. Know. <laughs> you should, yeah, that, that's you a mechanical should injury me waiting to happen. <laughs> man. No. Nah, nah. Those was the, man. Kids just don't know how to fun like they used to, man. I know, like we. This is before, you know, you know, we had the Nintendo and stuff like that, but it wasn't even. It was nah, man. Nah. Hey, my mom, my mama tried to get me to skate. She bought me two pairs of skates. The thing was, it was those kiddie skates where the wheels really didn't roll. Oh god! I, I had an Incredible Hulk pair. Loved them to death. But they wasn't rolling nowhere, so I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say you might as well call them. Yeah, the you gonna stay on the bed. You gonna be on your face. Oh my god. Man, Boy, let me tell you. You know, they had us. We was like crash test dummies as kids. <laughs> Do you remember some of the toys we had? You remember that ball that Ooh. you jump on like a pole? You bounce those. Yeah, it looked like Saturn. And it was a stupid yeah, ball. Yeah, uh, the pogo ball. Had, it was called pogo yeah. ball. That, 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 that's just a mechanical injury waiting to happen. <laughs> nobody cared. Everybody hey. had to have one. Flying off, <laughs> flying off, sitting spins. Yeah, sitting spin was dangerous. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the, what was the other thing? The big wheel, the plastic. Big I wheel. Yeah, I had a He-Man joint. <laughs> oh. like, uh, yeah. yeah, I had a red and black one, man, with the black wheels. Yeah. Man, you get the mugs rolling, and then yeah. you just stop. The mugs it, just slide. You yeah. just slide right in the traffic. <laughs> Do <laughs> <Kill you stuff. laughs> Oh my goodness, man! We was crash test dummies, bro. Eighties kids. Hey, wow. I had a, I had a Batmobile, 
that two people could sit in and had the little pedal. Oh, the yeah. the the bars like this. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't those pedals. It was just swing, and two people could sit had the little had the little walkie talkie on it all, man. You could oh, open the wow. door, open the door, yeah. get in and out of it. <laughs> had a trunk yeah. and a hood. Oh yeah. <laughs> man. I, once you get into once you did get into skating though like you really had to if you were going to keep up with some of those people that do the moves and stuff like they get in the middle and i would try to figure out like how come my skates keep drifting like you got to have skater wheels skater wheels. you have to have ball bearings that'll help it to move uh freer on those wheels and skater wheels are about that wide your regular skating wheels are that one so they could dance and stay up on them and they can do all kinds of things. I'm trying to figure out like hey. <laughs> and I just I just yeah, learned that I had from, no Su- clue. from Susan Q last year. I just learned that. <laughs> it's like you got to buy and yeah. change out the wheels and the bears. I'm like, I ain't have no clue. Yeah, I ain't following. <laughs> yeah, I I never was a, a roller skater. Wasn't my fourth. Oh, like, you know, being riding bikes, terrorizing the neighborhood, that kind of stuff. Yep, this yeah. guy was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, roller skates? No, nah. yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I jumped. Yeah. I jumped out of trees onto roofs of houses and fell yeah. out of. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. I was a, <laughs> I was an adventure little boy type of guy. You know what I'm saying? Man, what you doing up there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Danny piecing out. DW, I just sent DW a link. At one time in band camp. <laughs> right. One time in band camp. Kara, she said, uh, we were all raised by the lawn dark generation. I, oh, I, no. I, yeah. I didn't play. Look, Monica uh, says yeah. hockey, hockey stopped with her when she took the stopper off. Ooh. Look, you knew you weren't a skater in <laughs> high school if you still had the stopper on the front of your skate. If you was an amateur, um, the girls wouldn't wouldn't skate with you. If you um didn't have your own skates, <laughs> if you use the rental boys, they wouldn't be caught dead with no. the ugly brown with the no. more skates on them. You had to have your own skates. And if you didn't, as guys, if you didn't have the tongue pulled down and tied up from up under the skate, uh, you had to have all of that perfect. And the piece de la resistance. That's French, you know. Um <laughs> <laughs> you guys are in culture that's french um Whoa, this guy <laughs> this guy <laughs> you had to have that white towel hanging out the back pocket so you could wipe the sweat put it right back in there boy. <laughs> you wasn't no. really a skater if you ain't have it baby <laughs> see that that's real Ooh. that's nice that's real nice andrew and i'm trying to Live vicariously through your quaint memories of your <laughs> urban your urban youth growing up in inner city St. Louis. But see, I don't have those quaint Ooh. memories growing up here in Texas. You understand? <laughs> the memories I have is going to the Galleria, Ooh. them flooding the skating rink with ice, which was oh, just a, a frozen skin. pond because it don't get cold in Texas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> get, you, you know, I don't want to have cruel to humor, but if it gets below 40 degrees, we get PTSD. Because we don't deal with cold. You see what I'm saying? But you go to the Galleria to go see Santa Claus, and then you go, wait in a stupid line, then you finally get to skate, and either it's packed and you can't skate because there's no room, or there's nobody on there, and it's big, and you just hold on to the stupid wall, and you end up getting Indian burns from falling on the ice because you can't skate because it's Texas, and we don't have snow or ice. And you do all that to go get some free hot cocoa and go see stupid-ass Santa Claus. That's the memories <laughs> I have of hey, childhood. That's not, I'm, just, that's not that. I'm, just a, I'm just a little older than Steve. <laughs> it wasn't no Galleria skating rink. See, it was the Galleria. It was, that, it was that, that Santa Claus in the back of the post office in downtown that I, oh, had, no. I had to go uh, see. It's oh, that's line. <laughs> What the post office on Main Street? That's that crazy. Was yes. the, that was in the eighties too. <laughs> okay, we had, we had oh, that that was, bad idea. We had <laughs> ice rinks, but they were way out in the in the in the good oh. neighborhoods. We 
You, mm-hmm. you, you. I didn't even know. I, look, there was no way I could think that my weight could be supported on a little blade. And then if I knew if I roll over fingers on a roller rink, I cut somebody's fingers off on the ice. I'd never try. Yeah. And no, I, never did roller, I didn't never knew. I didn't never do roller blades. It just was. I just couldn't believe they would put wheels in line like that. That that was trash. We see the uh, yeah. roller bladers come on. I did the roller blades. Ring, I did do those. Going super fast on the outside. Like, man, what are these dudes doing here, man? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no. I I wasn't that wasn't my thing, bro. I like I said, I have a few traumatic memories of being dragged to the galleria. And that was it. That that was it, you know. I grew up in a bowling alley, believe it or not. That was that was our uh Man, let me Friday, tell you. Friday, Saturday night thing was the, the bowling alley of football game. Let me tell y'all my favorite song to skate to backwards. Boy, <laughs> when this come on, God damn, yeah. Boy, you get on this, boy, you get on the announcement and say, couple skate, couple skate only. Grab your sweetie, your sweetheart, or a stranger and get your couple skate on backwards only. You ain't know how to stay back. Know. You got to get up off. That Mary J. Blige, come on. What? What? Get to <laughs> grab your toe. Oh, oh my you Get that. Oh. You get this. Uh. You see it? Oh. Let's get around this corner, girl. Oh. Super super. Yeah, smooth. bro. That's not, that, that, that's not resonating with me. Call me Butter <laughs> Wheels. <laughs> Call me Butter, no. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't relate. Just super smooth <laughs> on these guys. I do a whole 360 on you, girl. Hey, here I come. I'm coming right back here. <laughs> no. I do no. my little shimmy. I'm coming. Here it comes. It, hey. <laughs> yes. Uh, get it, girl. <laughs> uh-uh. You've been too no. strong for too long. <laughs> How old is Mary J. Blige? Man. She got to be in the Let me go find my skates, man. Y'all don't even understand. It's real. (laughs) Don't do it. (laughs) I never played roller hockey. That was was not the thing. If if I get out, once I get out the skates, I put on a pair of basketball shoes and we can hit the court anytime. We go for it. (laughs) <laughs> but you northerners have different stuff. Like you guys have stuff that like man, we don't even consider sports like lacrosse. I'm not trying to piss nobody off. I'm just saying it's not it's not that big down here. But it's actually a brutal game. Yeah, it's it's a, it's tough a brutal sport. game. Like yeah, I, 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 I we have a high school lacrosse team at my high school. Yeah. I never even I never even realized didn't even know what it yeah, it's like never went out for it. <laughs> it's a brutal game. It's nice. Okay, it's girls okay, lacrosse, too. Yeah, they be going, girl, they be going girl, hard man. at each other. Yeah. Like, okay, it's brutal. They got sticks and a ball, and you're running like, hey, decent. Man, and decent. that ball, that, it's a hard yeah, ball. Hard. It? They're yeah. They're about to block you, the Iroquois Indians. So, so they like, swing yeah. it with a stick in a net. Yeah. Let me tell you and what I did with a stick in the net. Field hockey. Like, what is field hockey? Bro, <laughs> I took. I had got some tennis rackets from the, from the pawn shop. Yeah, did not know how to play tennis at all. Went to the tennis courts and just had bought some balls and hit them jokers as hard as I could up. I was like, damn. <laughs> so what I did, my mama had a pine tree in the backyard. Over the creek is a fence. Over the fence is a uh, industrial plex where they got all these mechanical, like, Caterpillars and uh, and 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 plows and <laughs> bro. Three thousand. I used to take I used to take them pine cones before they flourish out. You know they hard as hell when they like little and sappy. And I used to fling them on and boom, boom, just try to knock <laughs> rocks, boom, <laughs> with the tennis ring. I'll be breaking glass all over. Oh <laughs> man, I wouldn't. Yeah, no, no, I would. Don't say nothing else. <laughs> uh, please the fear. <laughs> you over here about the OJ Simpson yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell nobody. <laughs> yeah, he's about to go to jail for stealing your own stuff. <laughs> <What's wrong? laughs> 
Don't do oh. it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey, Kevin, what crazy things you used to do, man, at the tender age of how old are you? Nineteen? What you what you cyber bully somebody or something? Oh, I, wow. I'm, I'm, 20, <laughs> I'm twenty now, but uh ah shoot, I didn't do much at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hack somebody's uh uh grocery grocery cart list and add it added some fruit loops in that mug <laughs> dude i just had it delivered here why why even do that just have just have those groceries delivered here no know, um, kevin man just go with it man what you doing <laughs> 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 well why the heck would i put why why the hell would i put fruit loops in the basket i'd rather just have that whole basket sent here shoot <laughs> I'm doing that. I'm doing that much work. Oh man, you're going too far. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta make a pay for something unexpected first. Look, I told my students, I said, look, <laughs> if you guys act up and the principal come in here, then I'm gonna get fired. And then I'm gonna go back to what I'm good at, Robin. And guess who I who all contacts I have? Yow. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm a, I'm going to slip in your house and just take little items one by one. You're going to think you lost it because you guys are absent-minded. I'm going to take, like, one controller. You're going to be like, man, didn't I have a controller? I'm going to take one pillowcase. Hey, anybody seen my pillowcase? One pillow. <laughs> Next thing you know, your whole bed gone. You don't even know. In a month's time. <laughs> Where'd that bed go? <laughs> I could have sworn I had one right there. Wow. Anybody- why are my right socks missing? <laughs> I I play handball. Or no, you you're ball. only nineteen. I play wall ball. What, what, what was y'all doing at nine, 19, 19 years of age? Uh, I was in college, freshman year. I was playing ball. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was. Feel like I was almost getting ready to get my own crib. I think that was that next year, though. I think Big Hank was signing out. Uh, maybe that so. or something happened, or something happened. I don't know, but yeah, college. Yeah, I got a scholarship to hoop. Aaron yeah. Stowe, State College downtown St. Louis. You know, 19, oh my God. I don't, I can't say half the shit I was doing at 19 on here. I wouldn't, um, I was wilding <laughs> though. I mean, I was cool. <laughs> I was cool, but uh, let's see, 19, what was I doing? I was in school. We had an apartment. We was doing things. We was wilding, bro. Houston, bro. Time to be alive. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Uh, man, I tell, all my, I tell all my students, man, if you guys want to have some fun, get your grades and go to college, man. Yeah, go man. to college. Don't matter what college no. you go to. But if you no. go away, you'll have a lot of fun, man. Hey. College, the the women outnumber the men in college. If you guys <laughs> think you guys are some players, hey. then that's hey. where you need to go. But the only thing about college is – to stay and have fun in college, you got to stay in college. So you got to knock right. your work out because the parties are going to be there daily, all of that. I'm, I'm like Boss Aquatics. He said he was playing football, but he had a fish tank in his dorm room. I didn't live in the With dorm room. With an Oscar in it. Yeah, we, had, nice. uh, we, had the, we had an apartment. And Geek I had, Boy was I've teaching and coaching school. diving. He was a lifeguard. Yeah. He, at he was a lifeguard. I'm like the homie. I'm like the homie Randy on South Park, man. There's a time and a place for everything, and it's called college. That there is no truer word. College. We had this one cat. We stayed over here in these apartments off of Westheimer, and um, over here by the Galleria, and we lived above these cats. I think they was like Palestinian or something. But we gave this dude this nickname. We called them Nook. You know what I'm saying? Cause we just be a dick. But long story short, he was an asshole, and the homies would come over, 
And no, like you gotta look at this whole story, bro. My life is like that movie, uh, Superman, bro. So Superman with yes, bro. I was kicking it with these homies, man. I'm not gonna say their names, but they had a little band, and it was always the fellas. We would get over at the one homie's apartment, and we would watch uh, Monday Night Raw. All right, and then they would practice their band. They thought they was corn. Like this dude had like this bro crush on Jonathan Davis, the lead singer from Corn. So these cats would go in here and practice their band and try to like do rock rap and then they get into a fight. You know what I'm saying? So the homie downstairs would be pissed off, so he'd be banging on the ceiling and then he'd come up there and, and bang on the door. We'd be like, What? You know, piss off, close the door, he'd leave. So one day we get tired of him complaining and these cats was lighting fireworks and throwing them off the balcony so they would explode. Ooh. You know, so that wasn't good enough. These cats go get a bottle of Don Dish soap and put it in the hot tub and push the button. Oh my God. And the whole thing flooded Just with over, the bubbles. Yeah, yeah the yeah. pool. Yeah, man, it was a time to be alive, bro. Life was good. I it was mean, best times. college, best man. Time. I, I would, I would, uh, 3000 went to a different college. I would always go on his campus, man, because, um, the girls there had my, my college campus didn't have dorms at the time. Now they have dorms and a whole, the whole nine. They just ridiculous. Yeah. But, uh, I would go over there and we would just, you know, we, we, we would check in with them, go, you know, lay the Mac down, go to their dorms, mess, eat their food, <laughs> have them cook. Then we would just start. Man, playing all kind of little drinking games, go streaking across the quad. Man, have them running back, <laughs> bro. You know what? And I told my 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 like the Navy. The like in the Navy time. brought a lot of stuff to surface, right? Do you realize like the college games that they have now? I don't think I would have made it. Like beer pong, beer pong didn't exist when I was in college. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's Monica's? Is this just happened? I was trying to avoid a deer and didn't want to hit it, and it happened so fast. I was going about thirty. No, I think she was talking about a. Uh, Is this a, uh, a college story? No, oh, college, college story. story. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, otherwise she'd be texting and driving. Gee, come on. Look at three thousand. <laughs> Truth or dare, man. Oh my God! No, that's what we was no. playing with them. Yeah. Hey, oh, you, hey D, you remember the one that thought she was cute, but she had the, the eye that roamed and she, and she thought she was all that. And we was all like, and then she was wondering why we weren't, because we didn't know who she was looking at. Like, <laughs> the homie had a lazy eye, bro. Yeah, For man. Real? She was thick, That's though. The worst. She was thick. But uh, there, there was a set of twins. They was boss. Then there was the one that I was checking with. She was Polynesian. Poly Is Polynesian a thing? Is that what she oh, was? Man. Persian or Polynesian? Is that two different things? Of course it is. It's okay, like yeah. On the whole different side of the globe. Okay, I don't. I don't know. I oh. think she was. I think she was Polynesian. <laughs> yeah, no. Either way, you. That's a good. You can't go wrong with either one. Okay, yeah, man. Yeah, you can. yeah, yeah. She was great in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, look at me, bro. Like oh, just trying to get people in trouble, bro. Like my, don't my, don't. My, like, Monica, like says, Monica <laughs> says she always cho chose dare. Dare. Oh my God, she wouldn't want to chose dare. What? I know. Three thousand wild girl, Monica. I would always choose dare too, though, Monica. <laughs> yeah, probably, I probably always would choose dare too. I'm always choosing dare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That, there's nothing good to that. No. That's just a regretful game. That's what that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, it is man. What it is. Uh, still in you, still in you. This is uh, Steve, Warrior Planet Tanks, man, from Texas, man. This this started out as a, um, a uplifting for our partner, Jeffrey Watts, that lost his father, man. And we still hear. He still um, is. Still here for, for that and for him and, and, and trying to. Uh, Keep spirits lifted, man, and keep spirits lifted. But yeah, that's that's Steve from Warrior Planet Tanks, man. Yeah, good, good cat, man. Down in Houston, Texas, you tell about a southern twang. 
still uh, is still oh, okay. Still, how you say that? Still in you. It's still in there. Still in there. Okay. Do it again. Still in you. It's still in her. Still in you. Still in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, I, I, you didn't hear what he bro. said he was doing in college, man. He said he was still bro. off his rugged good looks and still uh, 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 <laughs> sleeping around tons. <laughs> oh, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I wasn't even out there like that in college, low key. I was, I was on some space cadet type shit when I was in college. I was, I was a lab rat. I was, I was, you know, hey, me and still in you. Okay. We would have wow. We, we could have hung out. I was, I was about that life. <laughs> I was partying. <laughs> I was partying. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It, the nineties, bro. Like, remember you remember Y two K? Remember when Y two K hit? Yeah, I thought everybody, everybody thought it was going to be the end, of the, and shit. end of the yeah. everything. Yeah. Like, once that ball drops, everybody, why y'all waiting for the ball to drop? Y'all better take cover, man. They, they said this, everything's going to be all bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting up here. I was at a party. And uh, I was inebriated, needless to say. But... I had stayed up like a couple of days before and it was one of them infomercials. You know how them church infomercials be coming on TV? Back in the day, remember when the TV used to go off and they'll show like the American flag and all that bullshit and then the TV would go off? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was one of them church infomercials and they was talking about the rapture and mm-hmm. they showed people disappeared and everything because Jesus was coming back. And uh, <laughs> so I'm at this party and I was gone. And the chick I was with at the party, I couldn't find her, bro. And I was like, oh, my God, the rapture is happening. for real, bro. I was bugging, bro. And instead, oh, she had no, she had got the scent of, of a of a better like, stag. Okay, she done been rapture. <laughs> <laughs> I was tripping, bro. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, it was some strong stuff. Strong stuff. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> Boy, boy, boy. Oh my goodness, man! It's nuts, but bro. yeah, I mean, it's good everybody coming through, showing love for the homie Jeffrey. Yeah, man. You know what and, I'm and saying? You know what? We've been on here, man. What? I'm gonna stick two, around. Two hours? Has it been two hours? In two hours? I think so. Yeah, it's That's eleven. Crazy. So it's going, and I know it's 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 eleven here. We central, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm central. unless you in California. Yeah. Yeah, or something. It's, it's nine you know. years for me and Kenny, but uh, yeah, it's what time? Nine uh nine o'clock here because I'm two. Oh, hours okay, y'all are now. y'all are behind. Yeah, yeah, we're oh, we're wow. uh, two hours behind. Man, listen, let me tell you guys something, man. I appreciate everybody for showing up and showing out, man. Jay Watts, if you're still listening, man, I appreciate you, brother. I just wanted to make sure that I dedicated the stream to you, and we said some positive stuff, and you heard some right. positive things from some positive people. And uh, especially the people on the panel that know you, man, we appreciate you, bro. And you just stay up, keep your head up, take care, man. Um, everybody in the chat, I appreciate you. I'm Monica Lynn modding out here, and Lori, Monster Fish Girl, getting your mod on. I really appreciate you, ladies. Thank you so much. Um, yep, yep. um everybody in the chat, man, that gave, man, and shared, and and commented, man. We appreciate you all, man. Thank you so much. You guys already know how I feel about you. If boss is still listening, boss, you better come through Monday, man, because I got a hot spot for you. You're going to be the, the first hot spot of 2022. I got some new questions. Uh, I got some new questions to ask you, G. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a good one. Yeah, You've man. So, You've been over there grinding on them tanks. Yeah, yeah, man. We got to talk to boss. Boss been doing some good things, man. So we're going to definitely do that. Get him in there. We got some more people we got to get up here too, man. And we're going to do that. So I'm going to reach out. Uh, I am finally going to send out these uh, gift cards for the giveaway, people. Thank you so much. Oh, look, boss is still listening. Here he is. He ready. We gonna get it. It's going to be a, it's going to be that Chicago St. Louis connection, man. When we met, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was cool, man. Cool cat, man. It's going to be fun. So you guys come on back 9 p.m., man, next Monday or Monday coming up. Um, We'll have Boss Aquatics in the hot spot. We'll have Boss Aquatics in the hot spot. 
Everybody, yep, yep. man, send some send some more positive vibes tonight before you lay your head down, man. Kiss your loved ones, man. Send those flowers to people while they're still here, then they can enjoy them, man. And um, nothing but much love to all of y'all, man. Kev, thank you for coming up. Big Tank Hank, thank, thank you, you for, for coming up. Us. Taco Funk, thank you for coming up. Steve, you know it's always a pleasure when you're coming through. Already, man. Much love, uh, Jay Watts. Uh, condolences. You know I got you, man. I'll sure. call you later, bro. All right. Any any last words, Kevin? No, just thank you guys. And uh hope you're doing all right, Jeffrey. I know yeah. he's probably in the background listening. Spend time with your family. And uh know we're here for you. Hey man, joy comes in the morning, man. And right. you don't do nothing but make us stronger, bro. So I intend to be strong as hell by the time we get done with this life. So we we gonna get it get it popping, man. And uh, know that your pops is up there with my daughter, man, looking down on us, man. So I appreciate yeah. you guys, man. Appreciate you all, man. We're gonna go ahead and sign off, and I will Thank see you guys um, next Monday. We'll have it. We'll get it cracking, man. We'll get it cracking. All right. All right. Y'all have a blessed night, man. Thanks, everyone.